time now for some cookery. Uh, Donald's in the kitchen with a healthy Mexican-inspired dish that you can make in just 30 minutes. It's from the from the book, <laughs> Superfood <laughs> in Minutes. Superfood in Minutes, yes. It's limited amount of ingredients, nice and quick and easy to make. Exactly. Ten ingredients or less, 30 minutes or less to make in the kitchen. Yeah, so. and healthy as well. And he power-packed with lots of veggies as well. So that's yeah. the aim of a young, uh, young little kid, and we're always trying to get in as much veggies as possible. Well, yeah. you've got Noah, haven't you? Got you Noah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, you've got another one on the way in November? Yes, in November. Slightly do terrifying. You've got your work cut. You, you need quick meals. I need, this is why I wrote the book. <laughs> yeah. you, you need you really quick do. meals in your life. Start batch freezing <laughs> yes, all of exactly. that stuff as well. That, the children is one side of things, but the hangry wife is the real big problem <laughs> that you have to right. deal with. So, <laughs> so we're going to make a beautiful uh, Mexican, be Mexican inspired prawn and bean stew. And this is all using sort of store cupboard ingredients. The only fresh things you're going to need are some avocados, some limes, and some prawns. So we're going to start off with this powerhouse of flavour. This is some chipotle paste. Mm. And this is. Give a whip of that. I know it's, it's lovely. Really I love it. Smoky and gorgeous. To that, that we're going so in with good. a little bit of garlic, and we're going in there with some tomato pastes, uh, tomato uh, chopped tomatoes. Can I ask the question: If you buy a jar of this, can you keep it in the fridge? Because you only ever need a bit like that. You only ever need, but I, you know, add it to loads of different yeah. things, into soups and stews and things. It really adds that smokiness. It's kind of like in the way that you'd add like a smoked paprika into something. Yes. It, it adds this. So if you were making a roast flavor. chicken, could you put that on the skin? Oh, gorgeous! Absolutely gorgeous! Oh. Yeah, really, really lovely, huh? Philip, here, nice. I should just hand this over to you. You, <laughs> you can take it from here. So, look, we've added uh, some tin tomatoes and we're going to add in some tin beans as well. If you don't want to use these, you could use some chickpeas. They're another great ingredient as well. So, like, using what you have in the house is what I'm mm -hmm. all about. So, um, great ingredients all in there. This is going to simmer away with a touch of water just for about 15 minutes until the tomatoes have intensified and they've, all the flavours have kind of come together. And once you have it at this point, looking really nice and tasty and all the things you want it to be, we're going to add some prawns. I have some that has uh, simmered away already. Right. You can see See, it's looking gorgeous. The prawns, the beauty of this dish is that the prawns actually cook in about two minutes or so. Yeah. So you're just going to pop them in and we're going to stick the lid on and let the steam and the heat that's in the pan do the rest of the work. You can butterfly these uh, prawns if you want just to make life a little bit easier and it'll cook quite quickly as well. Yeah. But I mean, they only need a minute or two, so okay. it's very handy. So come over this way. Right. We're going to finish this off. It's a very dark and rich stew. Yeah. Um, especially when you're wearing a full wool outfit. Yeah, like yeah, yourself. look forward to this being <laughs> splattered all over me. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect for the Yikes. job. Are you feeling but the cold as well? I am feeling the cold. <laughs> yeah. It's freezing, freezing in here. here. Sorry, guys. What's going Sorry, on? Guys. Is this okay. all for you? It is. It is all for me. I love Shut that thing. window. Yeah, please. <laughs> so we have some avocados and some red onion that I've just finely chopped. To this we're going to add a little sea salt and black pepper and the idea here I love with recipes like this and simple recipes it's about making things a little bit more interesting by kind of adding a little bit of excitement at the end. So okay. this is what this is all about. A little bit of uh, salt and pepper goes in here, a touch of oil and then we're just going to get in there with some lime juice and lime juice is that acidity. Imagine you have that smoky element in that stew mm. that lime juice is going to give you that fresh acidity. Delicious. Yes, delicious, great. delicious. So a little bit of lime juice in here and I think you cannot have avocados and lime without having a bit of coriander because it's, it's a criminal they oh, go absolutely. together. They go together beautifully. Flavour friends, as I like to call them. Um, so you're so you're just going to pop in a little bit of that coriander, and I have some chopped as well. So you kind of split your time from Ireland, obviously. Yes. Um, LA. Yes. And then your wife's Swedish. My wife is. So Swedish. you have all sorts of different influences coming into I'm your life. Put on, I've, I've plates on the go all the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm just barely with it. But yes, uh, we're based in Los Angeles, and uh, I come over about three or four times a year. So yeah. it's lovely to come back. Uh, not when it's freezing cold like it is. Oh, this sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but it's great to be here. <laughs> uh, so look, we have that ready to go, and this will keep quite nicely. I would do this very much at the last minute, yeah. um, just so you're ready to serve it. But if you've added the lime juice, you know, it'll keep the avocados going. So it's really, really nice and okay. fresh. Uh, and if we come back over, we should have a, uh, a prawns nearly oh, there. Look. You can see they're looking pretty good. Um, I'll just give them a last little stir through just to make sure we're cooked all the way through. But look at that. I mean, that is know, a meal in minutes, right? Yeah. And you've got great nutrition in there from, um, from all the beans in there. And you could really pump this up. You could add some uh, spinach as well. It would be lovely in here. So really, whatever you've got, if that's your base, Yes. You can just chuck all sorts in there, really. Exactly. Can't you? Well, I mean, within have, reason. And it doesn't have to be prawns either. Exactly. I would go. This is a gorgeous mix for any white fish, like cod, hake, yeah. or haddock. Is really gorgeous. Um, and again, you just bring that to the table with your lime salsa, mm. and it's absolutely phenomenal. Mm. What's the phenomenal. Swedish? Because if the wife is Swedish, what's the Swedish influence on your food? Um, well, I actually, the first job I ever had was in a restaurant with her, and she was the waitress, and I was in the in the kitchen. Oh, really? And um, we used to do. Uh, she, I suppose, it's uh, dill is one of the big ingredients in Scandinavia. 
Scandinavia. A lot of a lot of prawns, actually, and a lot of shrimp sort of salads yeah. and things like that. Um, but the open face sandwich is probably the most typical Swedish thing you get. It's these big, uh, beautiful sandwiches that are have mountains of shrimp on top with uh, boiled eggs. It's all very retro. It's all very seventies. Yeah. But mayo spread and then dill and you oh, know, it it's quite nice. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it does. And so, so as good... far as uh, Ireland's concerned, yes, yes. going yes. going back. Get back to Ireland. Now, there's a, there's a place for some hearty, wholesome oh, we food. We have some of the best food in the world in Ireland. And we're going through a really exciting time where, you know, the chefs are just using some of the best produce we have. There's gorgeous uh, produce available there. Cheese and the meats, it's fantastic. Mm. And it's, I always say that the best way to enjoy Irish food is to go and visit the island of Ireland. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. You can't go too far wrong. Can't beat it. Can't so beat it. we're going to serve this up. It's just cooked beautifully now. So we've got the prawns. We've got this, the beans in here. And again, like, this is the great thing about this sort of recipe is that if you have a family, this is the sort of thing you can plant down on the table, uh, everyone can dig in themselves, help themselves. They can. I like the idea that you can take a bit of the salsa, yeah. you can add a little bit of coriander if you like, but pop that little bit of uh, lime, lime infused salsa on top, and you have a really, really gorgeous recipe. A little bit of coriander, and then you are good to go. Have a look at that. Mm, that Give it a good. go, guys. I mean, the colours are just so nice, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. it's absolutely bit amazing. That's going to be red hot, isn't it? And it's instant flavour. I feel like that chipotle paste, a lot of the recipes within the book are looking for those powerhouses of flavours. So a chipotle paste, like oh. pesto. Mm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you are wearing literally the worst thing to try this food. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah? Bit of spice, add a bit of salt. But, like, pepper. not too much. Yeah. It's just got a really nice heat and the lime. Yeah, and if you did want it even more spicy, I would suggest you add like uh, some chopped chilli because the chipotle paste is more of a smoky flavour mm. rather than a spicy flavour. That's so nice. Yeah. The salsa is amazing. Isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, it's mm. great. And it's such a simple really good. thing to do. Get some good av avocado. That's like my perfect it. level of spice, by the way. Okay. Is it? Yeah, that's like good for me. I like really spicy. Um, more than that. Uh, a little, so you got a little chili I, I love it, I love it like this. It doesn't have to be really spicy. No. I love it like this because it's got, good. It has got some yeah, yeah. Heat. Chili flakes are a great little addition. In and there. then yeah. you can sprinkle them exactly. on afterwards. Um, thank you. There we are. This is what we're for cooking from. That's, uh, that's the book. Thank you, Donald. Thanks. It's really lovely to see you. For all the recipe details, take a look at our This Morning app.